do you, do you see gardening in the same way that you see your compositional work? Oh, well, that's an interesting question. Uh, maybe in some respects, because I, I, one of the things that interests me about it, besides just healthy eating, is this whole process of a of a life cycle within a season, and you you plant a seed, and then this thing grows, and it bears fruit, and then you're able to eat that. You're able to. Sh I plant enough to share with you know friends, and there's something about participating in that cycle, and it you know it happens fairly quickly. Um, and there is a way in which um, being, you know, creative is similar to that, though it takes me longer <laughs> to do a piece than it is to nurture, you know, my tomatoes and my eggplant and my okra. Um, it takes me longer to put a piece together. Uh, but there is that sort of cyclical process of, of creativity that you partake, uh, participate in. Mm -hmm. So if you're the gardener, it's you have one kind of role or several roles. And if you're the, the composer, it's... Uh, a bit different since you're the creator and uh, in the gardening you're kind of the assistant I think in a way yes good but there collaborating is that. with nature yeah do you find a correlation because you you do a little bit of gardening too don't you yes you'll be proud to know uh we got tomatoes coming in as well as uh, these <laughs> beautiful chili peppers um, oh, beautiful. but really I find I find my outlet in, in cooking it all once it's out of the garden uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, yeah. I I think cooking is analogous to every other creative activity, and there's such a wonderful direct input output relationship between the mm -hmm. care the care you put in, the methodical aspect of your creation, and how it turns out. Um, That's an excellent analogy. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>